My name is Tanisha. Um, I'm 36 and I'm from Costa Rica. <laughs> I'm from all over. Um, I always want to say that I'm from um, Limon, where I grew up. Uh, I'm also from Moravia, where I spent a lot of my teenage years, and now I live in Erelia. But I'm actually an African descendant uh, woman, so I'm from America, from Africa, and from all over. What makes me proud to be a woman? Um, probably my heritage. I come from a lineage of very strong women, and I feel proud to be sort of an heir of their strength, um, of their sort of kindness and love, um, and everything that they've instilled into me. So I would say I'm proud to be a woman because I know I descend from women that are powerful, are strong, kind, and loving. Um, I'm actually a conference producer. I do most of my work in English. Um, I produce HR conferences for people mostly in the United States, um, but I'm a researcher in HR related topics. I'm also an activist for racial justice and um, gender justice, and a mother, uh, a daughter, and a sister. It was, of course, a scary process. I think the first sort of emotion um, that comes when you get the news that you uh, that you have cancer in your body is fear. Um, but I guess the process of becoming healed from cancer also has a lot to do with being able to effectively fight off that fear. Once you overcome the fear, then there's you find the strength within you. I knew that I wanted to survive because I knew that I wanted to see my son grow old. Um, and that's what basically kept me alive. So I knew I needed to do anything that was necessary in order to have that happen. But I was also in the context of cancer, very scared of being sick, more so than I was of dying. This was like one of the key decisions that I made when I was like trying to determine what treatments and you know what my surgery was gonna look like and all the treatments were gonna look like when I was um, notified that I had cancer. And one of the first things that I knew is that I needed to get an immediate reconstruction if it was at all possible, um, because I knew that that was a very important part of my healing process was that I was able to sort of sustain myself in an emotional level, right? Um, and I also had heard a lot of things about the surgery that it was like super hard to recover from. It was probably one of the hardest surgeries to recover from, um, but I actually had a great experience with, um, with my surgery itself. So I actually, when I woke up, I was like smiling. I was in pain, of course, but I was like smiling and able to speak to my family. And then in the context of maybe three weeks, I like had no pain. I also was able to regain full movement of like my arms, which is also something that um, comes with the cancer procedure. And it's not only like an aesthetic thing, but the aesthetic is really important for women in terms of, you know, how it makes you feel um, and how motivated you are to keep moving forward with the process. So I would say one of the key things that actually enabled me to heal quickly from cancer and to just continue and on living a happy life was the possibility of having an immediate reconstruction and seeing my body um, not be too different from what it was before. Well, Tanisha right now would say to Tanisha at 30, to not be um, as uh, like hard on herself and, and hard on others. I'm much more flexible now. That was the number one lesson from my cancer, was that I needed to release control. I've always lived my life wanting to know what's gonna happen next. Making sure that you do the medical stuff along with the emotional and spiritual and mental stuff and a balance and understanding that you still have uh, the possibility of making your own life decisions while at the same time recognizing that you're not able to control what's gonna happen. I've actually, my mother always tells me that I should like be out there and telling my uh, story more, right? Um, because it was kind of like miraculous, really. Like I found out I had cancer, I had surgery 20 days later, and then like in the context of like one or two months, I was pretty much back to what I was before, which is very rare because most of the times like the treatments that come with cancer are very hard on the body and the spirit and the soul of the person and people take a long time to recover from those. For me, it's ultimately a happy experience because I feel like this actually enabled me to sort to live to my full potential um, but everyone has again their own story to share and I really find a lot of value in that um, and I think that uh, it is healing in itself to be able to sort of have this opportunity to relate to these women and hear from them and learn from them as well.